Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our webinar. My name is Friedrich Borbeli, Head of Sales by Dean Spark Systems. Today, with two partner companies, we will present you the whole packaging process for frozen pizzas. Our agenda today. In the packaging process, the first step is the SITMA wrapping line, what will be presented by Gianluca Rossi. Step in the packaging process is dinsed with the P3 horizontal cartoning machine configured for frozen pizza products, what will be presented by me. And the third step would be Lorenz Pan, who will present the stacking solution by Paolo De Carli. So, can you hear me now? During the presentation, you have the possibility to ask questions anonymously, and of course, we can also answer your questions privately or discuss your projects in details after the webinar. Our first presenters in the sequence of the packaging process is Gianluca Rossi, who I would like to transfer the word. Gianluca Rossi, the word is yours. Yes, thank you very much. So we today introduce the uh, SITMA 8002 wrapper. A uh, few words about SITMA. SITMA is an Italian company based in Spilamberto in the northern part of Italy. Uh, we have uh, uh, a size of uh, uh, 170 people. Uh, we have a turnover of uh, more than 30 million euros. We are based in the packaging valley uh, and SITMA has always been a, a machinery packaging machinery manufacturer. Um, please go ahead with the presentation. Yes, these are uh, this is our footprint. We have uh, three branches, a branch in France, a branch in the US and a branch in Japan. Uh, SITMA today uh, exports about 15% of its turnover in Japan. Please go ahead. The machine we want to introduce you today is the SITMA 8002, a stainless steel uh, packaging machine suitable for frozen pizza, frozen food and especially frozen pizza. Um, you are going to see a video of this machine, um, but we can split the machine in three parts. The inlet, where we have a buffer in order to optimize the flow of frozen pizza to the machine, then we have the wrapping section, and then after that we have the uh, shrink tunnel. We have an hygienic design here. The uh, all the material, the parts in contact with the product are in stainless steel 316L. And this is a machine suitable for food product. Please go ahead. The presentation, the presentation is now closed. Please reopen. Our SITMA W1002 is fully built in stainless steel. We use controllers from Siemens, but can also use Alan Bradley See here the fully synchronized in-feed section for frozen food. We synchronize the products in a way that the packaging will be 100% perfect. The use of the different belts here guarantee that the distance between the products will always be correct. As you see here, the packaging is always of the same 100% quality. Here you see the result of working with the shrink tunnel. If there are missing products from the four machine, we create an empty bag that is put out here. The shrink tunnel can easily be opened by the operator. You don't need to stop production to remove leftovers of food underneath the machine. In the smaller screen you can see the operator removing everything that is fallen down. You can change film reels on the fly by using two film reels at one time. 
Here you see the easy procedure to change film reels. Now we wrap some different products, not only pizza. We use here the possibility to run through the tunnel without using the hot air. On the lower screen you see the multiple different shapes and sizes we can work with in the machine. And now coming to the end, again you see the machine in its fully shape. Okay, so this is basically wanted to what we wanted to show you and feel free to ask questions. Thank you. Thank you, Gianluca. Very interesting video. The second step of the packaging process is the Dienst cartoning machines. I would like to tell you some words about our company Dienst, which was established in 1988. We are located in Hofheim, Germany, very close to Frankfurt am Main. We are a part of a family-owned company which called Polar Group since 2011, and we are specialized in developing and producing innovative packaging machines. We have already delivered our machines over 32 countries worldwide. Right now, we are talking about pizza packaging process, but I also would like to show you that we also deliver packaging solutions for other products, for example, bottles, bagging box products like cereals and powders, sachets, non-food applications, pharma and cosmetics, deep frozen products, especially pizza as right now, cake and ice cream. Next to it, we also have solutions for bars and chocolates and blisters and trace products. And today we are talking about our pre-3 horizontal cartoner, which means performance power for your pizza. The machine can handle 160 incoming products and we are able to stack four pizzas on top of each other. The machine is able to allow you uh, less uh, toolless format chains, which give you uh, opportunity to have faster format changeover, and it's easy access to the machine due to frameless and big size doors. Since it's in our stock machine program, we are able to deliver in very short delivery times. And now let's start the video where you will see everything in details. The product in feed consists of four belts. The first two belts accelerate the products to draw a gap. The third and fourth belts synchronize the products. Then the products are fed into the cassette belt. The cassette belt consists of bases screwed onto roller chains with cassette angles on both sides. These form a compartment. The rotary feeder takes the pre-folded boxes one by one out of the compartment. Equipped with a sensor, the rotary feeder only picks up a carton box if the compartment is filled with a product. The product is inserted by circumferential pushers into the folding box. Missing folding boxes are detected by a sensor and the product will be removed by the end of the carton belt. Furthermore, sensors monitor the correct insertion of a product into the pre-folded box. They also oversee all packaging processes, detect mail functions and ensure a stable and safe production process. 
The gluing is also activated by sensor control. After the products have been inserted, the lateral dust flaps are folded in and the cover flap is guided upwards. The upper cover flap is guided downwards and pressed onto the bottom flap. The inkjet printer can print multiple lines. So the best before date, the production time and the LOT code can be applied. Sensors check the correct closure of the folding box. The correctly closed cartons are transferred by the vertical belt to the outfeed conveyor. Faulty folding cartons are ejected at the end of the cartoning system. For format change, a stencil is placed into the cassette. The spring-loaded cassette angles are lifted and adjusted to fit the new stencil. The adjustment tower of the magazine must be adjusted in height and in the longitudinal direction. This is done by a spindle adjustment with turret. The rotary feeder can be adjusted to the height of the folding box. This is also done via spindle adjustment with turret head. The suction cup position is changed via a quick coupling system, completely tool-free. Here you can see our easy-to-operate HMI. It allows a swift adjustment of machine speed within the same format. After the pizzas are packed into the carton, the next step in the packaging process is the pizza stacking and palletizing. Paolo Decali from Lorenz Pan will introduce you this solution. Paolo, the word is yours. Yes, thank you. I hope that you can hear me. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, yes I can yes, hear you. Can. Uh, okay, perfect. Sorry, there, there was a technical problem. Okay, yes, I'm uh, Paolo De Carli from company Lawrence Span. Uh, I'm component of the sales team. And um, just a very short introduction regarding the, the company. We are a company based in, in Italy, in, to be precise in Bolzano, Bozen, which is in the very northern part of Italy, where there is a German-speaking minority. Uh, we are here, um, the company was established in 1982. It is a family-owned company. And actually we have more than uh, 250 employees distributed in, in five plants. Uh, just to, yeah, there are few, some plants, few plants in Italy. Then we have one in, in Austria then and one in, in Slovakia. And uh, yeah, we have more than 1,200 pelletizing systems installed worldwide in this in this uh, 40 years of of, of work. And um, the majority of our customers are in the food uh, 
um, and especially also there is a, a special uh, special machines we we produce for the for the frozen foods. It means that we we are producing machines that are able to work in the in uh, in uh, by minus 20 minus 24 degrees environment. Um, we sell and install these machines and this this complete plans worldwide. And um, yes, just another. I want to mention that we have also um, established two years ago uh, also um, a Lawrence Span Incorporated in the in the states in in Charlotte. So we are also present directly there in the states. Maybe we can uh, because I I don't see now the screen, but I think you can switch to the to the to the next slide where. Um, where it's shown what we are, what we are producing, what we are building. Um, on that slide, you see that we are we built um, and and um, and sell complete systems. In the complete system, we we intend um, the conveyors, the product conveyors coming from the packaging machines going to the to the palletizers. The palletizers we we. We divide the the kind of palletizers in in um, end of line palletizers. That means that this, our palletizers they are very close to the packaging machine. Then the centralized systems where we have more than one production line, and then with conveyors we are conveying all the products in a centralized area where we have then there the, the I don't know the three, four, five palletizers were palletizing all the products and these products and this palletizer can also be placed in the in the in the cold environment as I told before we are also producing by ourselves all the pellets conveyors uh, for the empty pellets and also for the full pellets we uh, integrate in our in our uh, in our portfolio we, we have also the the pellet labelers as a labor for the for the pellets stretch wrapper and the data management system so we are offering a complete let me say turnkey uh, palletizing project starting from the from a single packaging machine uh, up to the finished wrapped and labeled pallet so that is our our complete portfolio and okay this is the very very short presentation of our company I think that now we have also there's also a video who shows how our machine works. Lorenz Pan not only delivers the palletizers, but also the whole product conveying systems. We plan the whole conveying systems according to your needs. In the aligning section, we turn the products, here frozen pizzas, in the needed angle. We can do 90, 180 or 270 degree. Here you see how we combine two cartons to one package and then forward it to the layer zone. Our palletizers work also in the deep frozen area up to minus 24 Celsius. Here we change the transport orientation from narrow to wide side leading. You see the products coming with narrow side in front and now coming with wide side in front.
to show you the variability of the products we can work with, we show some different formats here. You see how we form the rows and push the rows to the layer. In this part the pallet is made and you can see how precise we do it. After palletizing, we can also stack the pallets. This minimizes the stand area in trucks or warehouses. The last step in the whole process is always the conveying of full pallets. We can do the conveying with chains, rollers or transfer vehicles. So this was <clears throat> this was the the video regarding the Lawrence Pan production, and uh, if there are any further questions, then I'm I'm at 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 disposal. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Paolo. Excellent presentation. Now we are at the end of the packaging process, and the next step basically would be that you go to the supermarkets or your customers, you purchase the pizza, and then bon appetit at home. So in between, we got some interesting questions. The first question would be for Sitma. Uh, the question is, can the machine handle irregular product sicknesses? Gianluca, can you say something about that? Yes, the the, the machine uh, is suitable for frozen food, and everybody knows the frozen pizza have has not a regular shape. So. We basically realize the machine that can compensate uh, the uh, irregularity in terms of shape of the product, especially in thickness. That's why we chose a solution with uh, um, film reels coming from the top in order to compensate this uh, variance in terms of thickness. Okay, sounds great. Then there is one more question uh, regarding DINST. Can the machine handle also other products? Yes, as already mentioned in the beginning of the presentation, we today we were talking about pizza packaging, but our machine is also able to handle all other type of products. For example, bagging box solution for powder products or ice cream or basically any kind of products. Okay, right now I see we, we didn't get any further questions. Questions, but as mentioned already before, if you have any projects or questions or you just would like to discuss with us your products, then please contact us. Thank you very, very much for your attention and have a nice day. Thank you. Bye-bye.